What's going on guys, my name is Connor and today I have a review and somewhat unpackaging of the American Express Blue Business Cash Card. So this is different than the points card. This is one that gives you cash back on every single statement and it is a business card. So for those of you guys who have a lot of money going in and out, this might be the card for you. But if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it really, really helps out my channel and gets my videos shown to more people. But without further ado, let's get right into it. All right guys, so before I get into all the little details of the card, I'll just show you guys the envelope right here. American Express, don't do business without. And a couple of the things that were a little bit frustrating for me is unlike my gold business card that I have by American Express, um, it did not come with an envelope over this. So that one came with an envelope and then this folder right here and then obviously all the stuff inside. But when it just comes like this, it's very, very clear that a credit card is inside. And it also took a week and a half to get here. I don't know if it's because it's the holidays, but my American Express gold card, I actually ordered after this card and that one came within three to four days. So I don't know what happened there, but getting past that, I'll open it up for you guys and show you guys what is inside. So obviously there's gonna be a lot of papers inside going over all the terms and benefits. You guys can see American Express, the card that comes with tools to help you manage your cash flow is here. So this one's going to have the actual card inside and also a little bit of information on how to activate it. So usually the card is going to stick right here, but obviously I had to take it out to cover up my numbers and everything else. So this will show you how to activate it. You can confirm it calling this number. Uh, you create your online account if you haven't already, but right when you apply for this card and get approved, they'll uh, give you the ability to create the account then and there. And then you should download the app because that's probably the easiest way to manage your payments and keep track of your statements and all that. But I will set this to the side after I show you guys the back. This kind of just explains the app and everything else. And here's the card. I know I had to cover up a lot of it, but it's a pretty good looking card. It's not the heaviest. It's definitely lighter than the platinum and the gold card. We'll just say American Express, Business Cash, Connor Langley. And obviously you have to have a business and I'm a sole proprietor. So I had my name underneath it. And then member since 20, I had this card ordered this year along with my gold card. And then you'll have the little code right here. You'll have the credit card numbers right here, the CVV. And yeah, this is one of the cards that you can tap and that's why it has this thing right here. So just like Apple Pay, if it has this sign right here when you're at checkout or buying something, you can obviously just tap your card right there and it'll scan. Getting to the next paper, the first one will show the agreement, basically just showing the APR and everything else. And just so you guys know, the APR for the first 12 months is zero interest. So if you guys hold a balance month to month, as long as you guys are paying the minimum payment, you guys will be good to go and not have to worry about any interest whatsoever, which is a good little feature. And then details, changes of your card member agreements. So effective January 1st, it shows a couple little updates. We are amending the how your reward program works section and supplement to the card member agreement to state person to person transactions are not eligible to earn rewards. So basically they're saying right here that January 1st person to person transactions such as sending money through Venmo or Cash App are not gonna be eligible to earn rewards because obviously people are gonna take advantage of that and they're just gonna send payments back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, which you shouldn't be able to get cash back on that. And if you really wanna make a lot of money doing that, then you're gonna to need to have a pretty high limit, which a lot of the people that are that shallow to do so are not gonna have. And then you guys can see the second part of the agreement. So it's just gonna cover all that. I mean, obviously you guys can read this all online or when you guys get your card and then your privacy notice. So basically just goes over all the information that they collect. This is also on the app if you guys wanna look that over. Summary of additional benefits. So this, this is something that might matter to you guys. The global assist hotline, the car rental loss and damage insurance that they offer, the extended warranty, um, and also purchase protection. And now let's get into why you guys are probably going to want to get this card. So obviously when you guys look at the site, they really like to emphasize the 2% cash back on all purchases which is the biggest reason why you're gonna go for this card. This card doesn't have a long list of benefits, just like the platinum or the gold card have. This is one where it's kind of like, okay, if you're having a lot of money going out and you'd rather have cash back than points, 
this is probably the best option because on every single payment, as long as you're paying the minimum balance, you're going to get 2% on it. But on the downside, if you really have a lot of money going out, like I do, you're going to have a $50,000 cap for that 2%. So I have a lot of money going in and out because I'm in real estate and I also purchased a lot of crazy hype items to flip and also watches and all that. So I'm definitely going to go past that 50,000 most likely. And I'm also going to have to use my gold card, but for someone who likes the 2% back, I would just suggest getting another card or two. I believe the limit for Amex cards per calendar year is five cards. If I'm not mistaken, it's three or five. And you also have extended buying power. So if your limit that you have when you buy this card is not something that you guys like, or you guys feel like you deserve more, you guys are able to go past that limit. So let's say you start with $2,500 as your limit and you have a $3,000 purchase. Most likely that purchase will end up going through as long as you have strong credit and you have a history of making payments. The longer your history with your credit card and also if you're making the payments every single month, you should be able to get it. And for those of you guys who wonder if they're going to get approved for this card, keep it in consideration that if you have under a $700 under a 700 credit score, most likely you're not going to get approved for this card. If you have a 720 to 730, that's like the hot spot for getting approved. That's where it's like, okay, depending on your income and revenue. Um, and then once you get to like the 750 mark, you're going to get approved no matter what, pretty much. And then I also want to go over the credit worthiness. So what does credit worthiness mean when it comes to getting your uh, extended buying power. As long as you're making payments every single month, like I just mentioned, as long as you're uh, in good standing and you don't have another credit card that has a lot of, uh, that has a high balance that you're not paying off, which is going to lower your credit score for maybe the time that you applied, you should be good to get a slight increase. But that does not mean that you have an unlimited increase and they really want to emphasize that in the terms, which I just showed you guys, and also when you're on the site applying for this card. So what happens after that $50,000 that you spend um, getting that 2% back? After that $50,000, you're going to end up getting 1% cash back, which is not great by any means necessary, which is why I would recommend probably getting another card to go along with this one. I would not suggest to have this as your only card unless your spending is below $50,000, which most likely if you're running a business, it is not going to be. And then also, just so you guys know, there is no annual fee for this card, which is a huge benefit. So unlike the 295 and I believe it's 435 for the platinum and gold, there is no annual fee whatsoever, plus the 0% APR, which is really, really good for most people. That kind of like opens up the door to a lot of people who have a little bit of a balance that they might have to transfer. So keep that in mind. That is definitely a plus. I know I mentioned that it doesn't have all the benefits that the gold and the platinum have, but it does have some perks that are important. It does have the ones you need because some of you guys might not need the lounge benefits of the platinum card and maybe it's not worth that 490 to 5 fee and everything else. And if you guys are looking to get this card, I'll just mention this now. I have a few other details that I want to go over. But if you guys are looking to get this card and also get some money back, if you guys use my referral link, I believe it's $300 back after your first 5000 that you spend within the first six months. So make sure to claim that and you guys will get um, some reward points even faster. There's a few other benefits and I get a little bit of kickback. It's like after your first 5,000 you spend, you get 250 or 300 and I get like 150 or something like that. But make sure to check it out. There's absolutely no downside whatsoever. And there's also benefits for other cards. So if you guys want to see the benefits for using my referral link with other cards, just click on the link and you'll have the option to select between any of the cards on the American Express website. Like I mentioned before, I have multiple cards. I have a, another American Express card as well. So if you guys are going to get this card, I would suggest getting another one as well, just because of the $50,000 cap, because getting 1% back is probably not worth it. And I also like having points. So if you're going to be traveling a lot, if you have a lot of um, e expenses that aren't necessarily business correlated, so maybe tickets, maybe traveling, maybe airfare, whatever it might be, I would suggest getting points because those points might be worth more than that uh, two cents that you're getting per, per dollar. You, you I, I hope you guys get where I'm going with that. But what I do is I use this card for basically after I spend a certain amount with my gold card and I get that little bonus at the beginning and also, um, the other bonuses that they have to offer. I'll use this card for my PayPal purchases, which is really useful. 
um, because 2% back on a $3,000 purchase for like a Louis Vuitton trunk or whatever else is pretty awesome. So it's definitely worth it for me to use this for 2% back. Um, but that's after I use my gold card for a bit and get all the bonuses from that, um, which they have a bonus at the beginning as well. So make sure if you're considering that card or any other American Express card, like I just mentioned, to check out that link that I'm going to have in the description. A lot of you guys might not know this, but after 60 days, a lot of you guys are eligible for a increase in buying power. So if you guys' limit right now is 2,500, like I just mentioned, and you have 60 days where you made payments for the for those two statements and you're completely good to go, then go ahead and try to apply for maybe 3,500, $5,000. And you guys might be approved for that. Um, and another benefit that I really like with American Express is compared to the Mercury and the Apple customer service, I really like the 24 um, seven uh, customer service that they have where even if you're not able to get on the phone with someone, you can send a message. In the top right part of the app, there will be a bubble right there. And you guys will be able to communicate with a bot at first. And then once you discuss your problem, you guys will be uh, transferred to an actual human being, which is really, really awesome because you get transferred within like three minutes and it's way better than just waiting on the phone. And even if you click off the app, you guys can also, uh, you guys will get notified once they respond to that and the conversation never really disappears unless they unless you choose to delete it. So. That's pretty much all I got for this card. I think it's an awesome card, but I think it should be paired up with another business card that maybe has points such as a gold or a platinum if you guys are running a business. But if you guys if you guys enjoy this video, again, make sure to like and subscribe because it really, really helps out my channel and gets my videos out there more so more people can see them. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.